we're a strong family and we'll, we'll, we'll get through okay. Ben Salazar's cousins, 20-year-old Alexis and her 10-year-old brother Noah were inside the library when police say Nathaniel Jewett fired a gun, killing two people and injuring four others. Noah was shot in the hand. Alexis unfortunately received uh, four wounds from what I understand, one in the chest, uh, one in the knee and then and both legs. The family is still learning details about exactly what happened inside, but Salazar tells me the family believes Alexis was protecting Noah during the gunfire. Salazar says he and the rest of his family didn't find out about Alexis and Noah until about seven hours after Monday's shooting. Once we found out that, that two of the victims were our cousins, um, we just went into family mode and uh, started visiting with each other and just asking each other, you know, what do we need to do at this point? He says last week's tragedy is a tough reality check. It can happen anywhere. Uh, we have to be aware of the fact that it did happen in Clovis. We have to take the positives from it in the fact that we had a police department and first responders that just went into immediate action mode. Salazar's family and the rest of the community still have a lot of questions. We wonder what is it that made this young man so angry that he would turn to doing this instead of seeking help. Reporting in Clovis, Justin Matthews, KOAT, Action 7 News. Thousand